Welcome everybody to Roby Tech. I am your host, Justin Roby. This is a show dedicated to PC building, tech news, tech deals, and a whole lot more. What is happening today? We're building Mass Effect. We're building a PC based on Mass Effect. Okay, let's talk about the build parts. Right here, N7 themed Mass Effect case, a custom N7 3080 FTW3. The CPU, Intel 10, i9-10900K, the motherboard. This is the N7 Z490 for RAM. I love this RAM. This is the Crucial Ballistics Max. This is 4,000 megahertz for storage, uh, just staying with the black, with the theme in general, WD Black, NVMe SSDs. Obviously not their SN850s, but their SN750s. For our AIO, AIAIO, we're using that NZXT Kraken Z63. We're gonna put a Mass Effect N7 logo on here. For power, continuing our purple and white box theme, we're using their new NZXT C850 uh, PSU. They did a great job with these power supplies and uh, stoked to be getting to use this in the Mass Effect build. That is our build, guys. That is our build. Here is our motherboard. Okay, let's walk through this motherboard because it's a it's a Smexy motherboard. We've got two EPS power connectors. We've got our CPU fan right here. AIO pump or just normal fan header here. These are a, uh, RGB headers specifically for NZXT. Um, over here, we've got two more system fans right here. 24 pin ATX power, four DIMMs for memory. Uh, there's your USB-C, which is nice. Both power and reset. There's your front panel connectors. Three more system headers, three USB-2, which is kind of nice. Uh, we do actually have an, their own, another addressable. We got a uh, three pin and a four pin RGB header. Uh, and then you've got your uh, front panel audio. Our M.2 slots are actually hidden underneath these. So there's our M.2s. And then now, last part is, let's get our CPU installed. Who's excited? CPU time. Okay, we're gonna pull this out. There we go. The easier way to tell when you're mounting and uh, Intel is there's two little dimples on each side. Just want to line those little dimples up and drop them in just like that and then pop it in and then go. Now watch this. This is magical. Ready? Here's some magic right here. Oh yeah. Oh, it just pops off. Look at that magic. You don't have to take it off. That's all the fun is just letting it pop off. Okay, next up, let's install some RAM. I like this RAM. It's gonna look good. So there's a little slot in the PCB. Just gonna line that up with the little slot right there. Look at that. So we got our RAM in. That RAM looks really good. I like the way the RAM looks. It's good looking RAM. Okay, let's grab our M.2s. Okay, so let's grab our one terabyte, which is right here. This will be our OS drive, our OS drive. Okay, there we go. And then the next one, three terabytes of storage. Look at that, that looks so pretty. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our little additives here, cover those bad boys up. And now our M.2s are installed. Ugh. Okay, ready? who's ready for a dad joke? Do you allow loud laughing in Hawaii or just a low ha? We're gonna take our little Intel mount here. We're just gonna put on our little bracket here. You're gonna just screw these bad boys in. Okay, got that. We're good there. Here's our case, our beautiful Mass Effect oh, themed case. There it is right there. Okay, so we're just taking this apart, getting it ready. I love the design on this. And then just the N7 in the front. And then of course on the top, it's also got like the carbon fiber look to it as well. So we're gonna put our MOBO in. And then here we get to put the super clean motherboard in. Okay, so next stop is gonna be the funky, the funky installation of the Z63 here in the front.
Okay, let us turn this over and let's get our front panels hooked up. Okay, now let's zoom in so I can show you what I just hooked up. Okay, so we hooked up our USB-C, which is right here, USB 3.2 right here. That's our front panel connector right there. We've got our USB uh, 2 from our AIO pump, USB 2 to our hot fan hub, and we've got HD audio. Those are all the front panel connectors. Now what we can do is we can throw in our cable extensions and install our GPU. So it's got an N7 customization with some pin striping. So looks really, really cool in terms of that stuff. So yeah, it's gonna look really good. So we're gonna pop this in now. There we go. And there we go, fits beautifully. Now what we need to do is we need to get our cable extensions in and make the rest of the build look good. PSU. Okay, CPU goes right here. There's SATA. We have two VGA. 24 pin, and we're good to go there. Nice and small and compact. Put this up. There we go, PSU is installed. We just gotta hook up our last little bit of cables and then we're, we're done. There we go, and now you've got a nice clean looking build. Okay, that's cable managed, looks good. There we go, and boom.